As we are getting closer and closer to the release date for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, Bandai Namco are making their own move in order to give us the ultimate experience. Now, DBS High posted on his Twitter page a few minutes ago that Bandai Namco has officially launched a game guide web webpage for Sparking Zero. It will feature fundamentals, strategies, combos, and a lot more. More details coming soon. And here we have the link for that, which we'll click on in a minute. Here we can see Goku Super Saiyan 3, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero Games Guide, and this is to go even further beyond. So click on this, and this is the game guide. Now, many of you may or may not have seen this before, but we're just going to quickly gloss over this. You can see here we have Gogeta diving to Dragon Ball Sparking Zero Universe. Hone your skills and master your techniques. You can pause if you want to read what is stated here. We have Piccolo and Gohan, Ultimate Gohan. We have Fundamental Strategies and Combos and Coming Soon. That's what's written there. Now, Fundamentals is right here. If you click on it, it takes you down to it. Fundamentals, ready for a new battle. Start your journey here with our beginner's guide. Here we dive deep into the fundamentals of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Whether it's the controls or, or the customization possibilities, you'll find everything you need to know before jumping into your first battle. Learn the basics and ho start honing your skills now. You have strategies and combos as well. Click on that and it takes you to this. Pure power can only take you so far. When faced with an opponent of high power level, it's, t it's time to combine might and wit. Take strategy and combos to new heights in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. By mastering offensive and defensive moves, you can prepare to face tough opponents. Our guides will present most of the important combo features the game has to offer. Get ready for the next battle. So here, here we have, uh, forgotten the name, I think it's Full Power Master Roshi and here we have Quillen as well. Here we can see the beginner's guide, if you click on it, it takes you to another page. Yeah, this is the main beginner's guide. Here you have the information about the HUD, that's the HP and key gauge plus the skill count. You also have the controls and you have understanding understanding battles, how to restart and customizations. So for those of you who may or may not have so, so for those of you who may not have seen this, I'm just going to go over this. I'm not gonna read anything, you can just pause it if you want to see it. Let me just zoom into this. Hang on a moment. So you can see here. Transformation icon, HP power is this, obviously, timer is this, obviously, HP gauge is this, obviously, key gauge is this, skill count is this, and hit count is this. That's the only thing this, this picture has to show. If you want to read it, you can go ahead and pause the video. Now, there are many people that are mistaking Dragon Ball Sparking Zero's controls to be Xenoverse 2's controls. It is stated here that there are two different types of control presets. We have your standard, the recommended controls for the game, and classic en enables you to en enjoy similar controls to those of the previous Budokai Tenkaichi games. Now classic is the one for Budokai Tenkaichi 3 and 2 and 1, but standard however, as was previously mentioned in the post, I've forgotten where it was it's coming from but standard is actually Xenoverse 2 style uh, preset for controls Xenoverse 2 control style so it's up to you to choose whichever one you want here we can see we have the PlayStation and Xbox controller for standard and classic moving on the change in controls will also affect the quick time sequences and controls so uh, standard looks like you have to hold I think click down or continue mashing the beat uh, L3 or R3 button but on classic you have to spin the stick that's basically what the controls uh, differ in you see here standard controls if you want to read this go ahead Now all of these are just basic things. The 
These are all just basic things, beginners things. Many of us already know this. Charge, key, uh, key charge, clash, and all the rest. Now, understanding battles with its stunning and extremely ver varied uh, roster, Dragon Ball Spark Zero offers multiple ways to enjoy battles. Given the many customization options, stats, and metrics, and more, let's take a look at the various possibilities the game offers for an amazing player experience. With the game's large roster, each character comes with their own dedicated stats. Now you can see how to read stats. Now this is where they draw inspiration from Xenoverse 2. We have the Xenoverse 2 stats uh, style here. HP, attack, key, combo, and special attack. Customization. In Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, you will be able to customize every character in the game to make them fit your, to make them fit with your taste and playstyle. And here we can see different outfits for Goku. We have the normal Z Goku. We have shirtless Dragon Ball Super. I think this is Broly. Or it could be Ultra Instinct's Goku shirtless. We have Whis's Gi. So you can see here outfits. You can change the character's outfit based on your unlocked costumes. Note that this change is only cosmetic and does not have an impact on the character's stats, but can sometimes change the move set when equipped. Accessories. You can choose to equip some specific characters with their anime accessories to produce their to reproduce their famous moves or particularly change your look. Halo and Scouter. That's basically talking about Vegeta and Goku. That's when Goku was dead during the, the Majin Buu saga. Type. This defines the additional characteristics and ability slash abilities based on the character type you selected. Ability items. You can enhance characters' abilities, which is speed, strength, and HP through capsules customizations. They also take in inspiration from Xenoverse 2 on this uh, ability item spot. But we haven't seen any showcase on it with all the demo gameplay we've seen so far. Customize all your favorite characters to make your look even more unique during online battles. Going back to the previous one, we can see here that that's all for this one as well. So as they said before, and it's said here, coming soon. Now this coming soon, as TBS Hype said, will include uh, strategies, combos, and a lot more. So I believe this. Uh, coming soon should be the, the combos in game that they will add to the website. So that's about it for this video. I want to give you guys a quick update on the latest development for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero website. Just drop a like, try and hit over a thousand subscribers this year. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.